So I have a bit of an admission to make. Last year when I went to Zion, I had a motorhome. And it really made life really easy, but this year is a little different. I'm coming right off a backpacking trip, and my legs are a little sore, my hips are a little sore. So my first day in Zion, I'm going to be really taking things easy, and I'm spending some time scouting the narrows, and I want to see where fall colors sit net right now. I want to see basically when the trees are going to be at their prime so I can make plants to go back in there and shoot them when they're at their best. This is the fourth consecutive fall I've spent in Zion National Park trying to capture the fall color. I've got some great work to show for it, but there's still so much out there I hope to capture. I'd say that my scouting trip of the Narrows was a success today. It was great to see the condition of everything back in there, and there's a lot more sand in past years, and I'd say the trees are actually, if not at prime, eh, getting pretty close to it. Um, there's one location in particular that I tried to photograph two years ago, and eh, it didn't work out so well. I tried again last year, and then the leaves fell off the tree. And that particular tree's looking pretty good, so I think I'm gonna pack up my eight by 10 and head into the Narrows early tomorrow morning to see if I can get that shot. I found two other shots while I was back there too that will be possibilities in the next few days depending on how the fall color progresses. One thing I don't want to do is spend too much time back in the Narrows when the maples and the rest of the park are looking pretty fantastic right now. Um, there's one particular grove that I've been in before and I've taken some photos in before, but I've never taken the 8x10 back in there. So one of my goals is when that maple grove is basically at the peak of perfection, I want to get back in there with the 8x10 and see if I can get some shots. It's going to have to require some absolutely calm conditions, which I think we're going to be good with over the next few days. So now it's time to get back to camp, get things packed up for tomorrow morning, and head back in the Narrows. Good times.